Hello everyone, welcome to Blind Beauty, and today what we're going to be doing is styling my new haircut. So you're going to see me reaching down and everything because it's hard to have everything exactly where I need it all the time. But what I'm going to start out with is the Aussie Hair Insurance. It's a heat protecting spray. I need to take this label off the front of it really, but uh, this was something I got. I ordered it on Amazon a long time ago. But I love this. And I spritz it all over. It has a little pump sprayer. Well, the little one with the little nozzle. The little trigger sprayer, rather. Not pump. But I spritz that all over my hair. And then I'm taking a brush. And brushing through it. Because you want to evenly distribute the product. All over. And I'm going to be moving around periodically so that you can see what I'm doing from the front and back both. So, do a little bit more on the sides because I didn't really get that very well. And run my fingers through that just because it's the sides. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Garnier Fruit Keys Full and Plush Root Amp. Looks like this right here. And I'm going to put some of that in my... I put it in my hand. Some people would prefer to do it the other way. I spray it right in my hand. I shake it up a little bit first. Not a whole lot. But put a good amount in my hands here. Get it evenly distributed over both my hands. And then I fluff it into the roots, especially towards the front. And then I'll add a little bit more to the actual crown here in a moment. And really massage it in, especially at the roots. My hair is fairly short, especially now. But massage it into the roots really good. Kind of waking up the scalp is what I'm doing, basically. Now I'm going to take a little bit more. Okay, making sure I was at least somewhat in fill, in, in view. If I'm not in view at one point, I apologize. I don't have my uh, a mirror on this side of me, so, and yes, forgive the clutter back here. I keep some of my makeup stuff stored behind me, which you may have seen in other videos, but I'm going to do like that, and as I'm working it into the roots some more, grab my hair dryer, and I do a messy blow dry first. No tools, nothing like that. Just straight up blow dry. Okay everyone, so I'm going to do a little voice over here and I sped up the track as well. What I'm doing is I'm lifting up my hair and using the blow dryer doing quick side to side motions. Really just trying to get the hair somewhat dry and you can do this till it's like 75% dry or even more. I had my hair up in a turby twist type thing before I did this video so it is somewhat dry but then I take a brush a slotted brush which does help to dry it as well and I brush it forward I put my head over like I'm leaning over and I'm brushing it down and so that I can really get the back you know the bottom of the hair completely dry as well so I'm brushing it all around and in the middle I split it down the middle and I make sure to try to get every bit of it that I can. And I turned around and showed you what it looked like. And I also even do what would be the top as I'm doing this as well. Whenever I switch to using my fingers. Because you can use a brush to basically smooth it. And then switch to using fingers just to be able to tell whether it gets dry. Then I, I keep going back and forth from leaning over and up. So, this is a fairly quick thing to do, um, and it, basically some people would stop after this point, you know, after they're done blow drying it and taking a brush to it again, because that's what I'm going to do also, I'm going to take a brush here in a moment, but right now I'm still using my fingers. Now I'm grabbing the brush and brushing it and smoothing everything out. 
so that I don't look so crazy. And the blow drying helps to add volume and it adds quite a bit of shine as well to the hair. So. Now I go back and I double check that everything is actually completely dry and I can already tell the back of one side is not completely dry but that's where the round brush this is just one of the uh, I've had this one for a while though this is a Conair professional brush got some lint in there but I can take that and brush my hair under a little bit there on the sides and I apologize for any background noise. My dogs are out and they are being ornery today. They are in ornery little moods. Okay, the back is drier than I thought, so that's a good thing. But with a hairstyle like this, volume is important. So that's why I tend to go from underneath because it does help, at least with my hair with volume and I'm parting my hair now on the side pulling my bangs down and I'm not using an actual mirror right now I'm using my viewfinder so but I do have a mirror off to the side here which I'll be glancing in now just to see alright and see I have a little bit of lift there now so, now I'm going to take my, um, a teasing comb, or not a teasing comb, but a smoothing, this came in the teasing set, but I take that and kind of smooth out the top a little bit more. So, that right there is... And my bangs, I do have bangs, and you can tell that they kind of, whoops, just dropped my brush, round brush, but they kind of add to the height there. So that right there is what that looks like. And to me, that honestly looks good. That's what it looks like. Go ahead and rotate around a little bit. Okay, that's what that looks like. So, and you can take it and take it up to another level by using a straightener on it. You can, and since it's already got heat protection on it, you're gold there. Okay, I'm going to take this teasing comb and I'm turning around so that you can see more of what I'm doing. But, uh, for some reason I have lost some of my hair products, but that's okay. But, because I really don't want a whole lot of volume anyway, but I pull my hair up a little bit, or I'm going to here, and take it and just back comb it a little bit. Not crazy, not going wild, and then just smooth it back down. Take it and back comb it just a little bit, about four or five times smooth it down. Like I said, I'm not using a mirror in front of me. I'm towards the back. But like, for example, say this front here. Right here. Let me get up close where you can see. Now I grab a huge chunk of hair because that allows me to use part of it as the base. I go like this and then pull it down. What you do is you get a section and you pull down. Pull down. So, that right there. And then that's where this smoothing brush can come in, really and truly. So that right there is what that looks like. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and go under my sides again a little bit with the round brush just because now, if you wanted more volume on the sides, for example, I could lift up this section here and take that teasing comb I had 
and brush up a little bit to about four or five times. You pull up, you pull the comb out. You pull up, you pull the comb out. As in you pull up towards the head. And then what I do is I kind of, or what I'm doing, is kind of fluff out that side a little bit so that it's not as ratty. I know that's a teasing, but whatever the case may be, I don't normally tease. So, and I'll show you on this side too, just because I want it to be somewhat even. Back comb a little bit and drop it. So that right there. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I got to do the other side now because I really got that amped up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> do it a little bit more than what I was doing before and you what I did is I put my fingers in the area you know kind of like just to hold it you can do it like in grabbing the hair as a bunch or you can do it like I'm doing and using my fingers even you can do any number of ways so did my bangs just a tiny bit to give a little bit of oomph to them as well. So that right there, it's still wanting to poof out more on that one side. But that right there is the hair look. And you can take it and you could use hairspray on it, whatever the case may be. Um, one thing I tend to like to use once in a while is some kind of a putty. This is the Garnier mess maker Garnier Fruit Keys mess maker and I'm going to take just a little bit of that and I do mean a very little bit kind of just digging a finger in and not even really getting a whole lot of it on my finger well that is quite a bit actually right there uh, but you could use about a pea size amount and I put it in my hands and rub them together rub 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 if you got some under your nail, you need to get that out because that will transfer to the hair as well. And then I'm going to take that and just work it into the root, roots. On the sides, at the crown, the back, work it into the top too. So, that right there. And if you want, so that right there is the actual finished look. You could even take that putty and piece it if you wanted to, like I'm going to get just a little bit, rub my finger over the top of it and get some on my finger. Uh, work it on my fingers here and work it into the bangs a little bit, make them more choppy and piecey. And then work it into the little bit of hair that's up top. I had them go ahead and give me a thicker bang just because I know that I can make hairstyles with the full bang or with a little bit of oomph there. So that right there is finished hairstyle. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope that you have a great day and that you subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to do more tutorials for you. And if there's something that you would like to see me do, let me know. I do have other updo type tutorials for short hair. Mine is about ear length right now. So it is very short hairstyle. It's a, a bob. I told her I wanted it one length, but she kind of tapered it around the face a little more than I wanted. So, but I'm going to do some updos pretty soon. So let me know what you think, and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time out of your day to do that. So I hope that you do subscribe so that you can see whenever I do post a new video. I also hope that you follow us on all of our social media as well. 
We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. As well as I have a blog where I post different topics on as well that may pertain to this video, may not. I will be posting links in the section down below to where you can find that blog and find all the links to my social media, so I hope you subscribe. Thank you. Photos in this video were done by GMC Photo Editing, so I hope that you will check that page out on Facebook, and I will leave the link down below for you to click on it, so check it out and show her your support.